Okay, I just got done making a few videos about the type of motors that are in uh, Nikon lenses. This is the True Ring Ultrasonic. You see here, there's nothing there to break, right? Anyway, Nikon also calls this the silent wave motor. I wanted to clear something up since there's a lot of lies out there. And this is the complete AFS motor in most Nikon lenses, including like the 105mm f1.4, which is $2,200. Most of the G series zooms, most of the G series plastic uh, um, primes that are made in China. This is the entire assembly five screws, two springs. This is the actual motor right here. This is the two piece assembly that is held together with the five screws. Now people think that there are nylon uh, gears. We have actually four gears in the uh, micro motor of the Nikon assembly. Okay, now people think that these are nylon gears. Well, the white ones are certainly nylon, right? No, only one of these is a nylon gear and that's the main one that actually hooks, connects on the end that is the drive gear that connects to the actual motor for driving it. Now, this one and the secondary gear right here are plastic. While this one is white, if you actually look closer, you'll see it's off-white compared to this one. This is actually plastic also. This was one piece. I just wanted to show you that because it's really, you can't break it by hand. I easily broke this by hand. And this one actually goes in the drive shaft of the motor. Now this is the tertiary gear primary, secondary, tertiary, and this is on the end of the tertiary gear which actually goes in to drive the autofocus system so it would actually be like this right here okay tertiary, secondary, primary inside of uh, uh, the motor plastic, plastic, secondary tertiary is nylon and the final gear on the end, which is actually the most important one, is plastic. Right here, as I showed you in a prior video, you can actually, I don't know if I could zoom in here for you to see that. I've already zoomed in as close as I can get. I should have put a macro lens on, doesn't matter more than enough. You can actually see that this one is nylon. You see the deflection I'm able to do with my hands. Nylon. Nylon. Okay? Is nylon, right? Obviously, it's pretty bent now. Nylon. Okay, I don't know if I can actually grab this one again to break it again. I've already broken it once. Here's the piece off of it. But this is plastic. Okay, plastic, not nylon. See? White, kind of off white looking. I might be able. I probably can't do it again. It's too short for me to break again, but it's plastic. So, three plastic gears and one nylon gear. Okay. Chain is only as strong as its weakest link. So that's it. That's the entire micro motor assembly. Let me put this on its side so you can see it. There's the two springs that make up the micro motor. The assembly housing. These four gears and these five screws. That is absolutely, this also goes with the motor. There's the motor right there. This little nubbin was part of this gear here before I broke it off of the end right there. This is the uh, little internal bushing which is magnetized. So that's it. No one's ever made a video like this before. Not even the people that have the website where you're taking uh, camera lenses apart. Even they don't have the description of this. I've seen this anywhere. So inquiring minds wanted to know. You saw it here first. If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. <clears throat> free to watch, free to hate it, free to like it, but I don't know what there is to hate. I mean, it's the hardcore absolute facts, undeniable, irrefutable. There it is. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.